I'm Jono. And I'm Ian. And we're Bike Gearheads. Welcome to the 2023 Gravel Bike Guide. And this? Is the Cervelo Aspero 5, not to be confused with the Cervelo Aspero. If you're confused, we'll get to that. Oof. All right, so Sydney, this is actually your bike behind us. Who's it for? The gravel racer, for sure. This bike is so fast, it's so sturdy. I've taken it to two different gravel races now, and each one I just fell more in love with the bike. Like, to me, this is the perfect gravel race bike. It's a carbon frame, so it's very lightweight, but it's very sturdy, and when you feel like, you know, oh my God, I'm gonna go down the descent, it's actually not that bad, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we all want. Yeah. That's awesome, because you come from a road racing background, yes. right? Yes, yep, so I have no, I've, prior to this, I've had no experience in gravel racing or mountain biking or anything like that, so I definitely would say I am a very new beginner to anything off-road, so this bike gives me a lot of confidence. And does it feel like your road race bikes? Is it similar, like, twitchiness and turns, like quick quickness, I guess you should say? It's definitely, uh, it's more comfortable, for sure. I would not put it in the same category as a road bike, but when you're racing, you know, for six to eight hours, you want that comfort over, oh, yeah. you know, stiffness. Um, but it does, I mean, it corners great. Um, overall, it's just a great bike. How about you tell us about some of the technical specs on this? Um, let's start with the tire size. Does it do both 700, 650? It does. So um, like the Ibis Haka, um, this one will also do 650 and 700. Um, the clearance will be 700 by 40 and then 650 by 49. So good range there. And that's awesome. And to keep the ride similar for each, tire, each size tire, they have a little flip chip in the front fork, don't they? Yep. So you can just uh, un unbolt it there and then flip it around and it should ride similar to uh, each wheel size. Yeah, that's really exciting. Yeah. Um, so we mentioned that this is the Aspero 5 and Cervelo also has the Aspero. Um, this is more of their high ends, kind of like they do the R5 and they used to do the R series, they don't do that anymore. But mm -hmm. um, the Aspero 5 is the top of the line and then you get a little bit lower modulus carbon and stuff on the Aspero. It's a little bit heavier, but what other things um, separate those two bikes? Yeah, the biggest change is gonna be the integration um, of cables in the front end. So uh, cables will be routed through the bars into the stem, uh, never exposed to the, to the elements out on the wind. So it's more aerodynamic. And then also some of the carbon layup and um, some of those more behind the scenes things uh, make the Aspero 5 a little lighter and a little more yep. um, stiff just to make it uh, a little bit faster yep. when you're out there racing. Exactly. Um, sort of similar to how they had the S series and the S5 or the R5, the five is kind of the delineation for the top of the line. Yeah, exactly. And you can run uh, one by or two by with it. It has the front derailleur mount, so it's not just limited to a one by option. Yeah, I ran a one by. Yeah. Do you like it? Love it. One by for gravel? Definitely. Okay. Uh, notice notable accomplishments. Ooh, uh, well, Sydney. Sydney Barry rides it, duh. And she's in a win crusher this year. <laughs> nice, yes. I love it. Um, and also SBT. Mm -hmm. You'll see her Thank you, I appreciate the confidence SBT. for my yeah. uh, competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm also going to be racing this bike at SBT Gravel, so very excited about that. Who, who are they taking the inspiration from right now at Cervelo? Oof. Yumbo Visma. Uh, so we actually went to Cervelo recently, we talked to their engineers, and they actually said, yeah, we get a lot of feedback from the Pro Team, and uh, they, yeah, it's kind of how they design things. So I think a lot of feedback from pro athletes went into the design of, of this bike and really all, the, all their bikes. Definitely. Yeah, Cervelo makes uh, you know, race-winning machines, and yeah. this one is as well. Yeah. What colors does it come in? This bike comes in a lot of different colors, but I will say my favorite is probably the one behind me, and it's called Gloss Plum. Yeah. What about you? That is really nice. Um, so the Aspero, just the regular Aspero, comes in a bunch of other colors as well. And there's one called Putty, which is kind of a white frame. I really cool. like that one. That's probably what I would choose. What about you, Jono? I'd probably go with the uh, traditional stealth black. Yeah. Let the, let the components speak. You know? <laughs> yeah, let the legs speak for themselves. Yeah, or huh? that, yeah. Legs and components, <laughs> other things. But, yeah. And the Aspero 5, which is your top of the line, that is going to be going with uh, GRX DI2. RX 815, you got Red Explore ETAP Axis, um, you got a few of those, and then you also have the Force Explore ETAP Axis and eCar. And then you can also get a frame set. But if you're looking for something that is a little more approachable as far as price goes, then they do have the Aspero, which is gonna have some lower end um, components. So they're still great, but they're just gonna be a little bit heavier. Um, but the cool thing about the Aspero line is you have prices um, and build kits that kind of the whole range of the major component brands 
um, lines. Yeah. So a lot of different builds for a lot of different riders. Um, and then they have the frame set, which is very cool and it's fun to build up your own bikes, something that I really like to do. Yeah. Um, you can reach out to one of our gearheads if you want to get a frame set and they can help you spec it out. Or if there's a particular build that Cervelo offers, but it doesn't have the exact wheel set you want or maybe the handlebar you want to swap it out, um, they can help you out with that too. And then we do have our custom bike builder and you can go in there, pick out your frame and you can build it up however you want. You see the weights change and all the specs change and that's a lot of fun as well. So, Jono, if you were to get a frame set, what would you build it up with? Oof, I would probably go uh, SRAM Rival Axis, save some, save some coin. Yeah. And you know, get the nicer frame, but then do that and save a little bit of money. Nice, so the Aspera 5 Rival Axis. Yeah, Explorer. Yeah. Explorer Axis. Yeah. Oh, Explorer, okay, Explorer, that's I cool. Go. Explorer, and then uh, just some nice reserve carbon wheels. Yeah, reserve would be a good option for the wheel set. I think we know it. You'd, you'd go with. Yeah. It's, it's behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Said it before. Say it again. Love the Eckhart so much. So, yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> nice. Perfect. That's awesome. And what the wheels? Uh, would you upgrade wheels? No, I like the ones that are on there now. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. So, got a lot more events to come, so they'll really be put to the test. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. And, and this is another bike, I think, that would do well with a road bike um, wheel set upgrade because totally. it is pretty sporty. Yeah. Well, those are all pretty awesome ways to build up a bike. But I will say, I mean, mine's built up with the Eckhart. I've never actually weighed it, so I think we should weigh it. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, well, before she guesses, put what you think weighs down in the comments. I'm going to go with, mm, oh boy, uh, 18 flat. 51. Uh, it's going to be uh, 17 two. 18 pounds, 5 ounces. 18 pounds, 13 ounces. I think I won that one. So this is a great bike, but on our website, we have two other similar bikes. So you have the Pinarello Gravel, which is similar, and then we have the Ridley Conzo Fast. So if you're uh, looking for a bike like this, but not exactly this one, those would be a couple of good options for you. Cool. And if this one didn't interest you, we do have videos on three other gravel bikes of our top picks of 2023. So you can check those out in the description below. And if you have any questions about this bike, don't hesitate to reach out to a gearhead and they can take care of any questions you might have. Yeah, and make sure you like this video. If you have questions you want to leave down in the comments, that would be great. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll see you out there. See you at the gravel races. Ciao!